Email rules are changing again, and this time it's affecting Outlook users. Starting May 5th, 2025, new requirements will be put into place for everyone sending more than 5,000 emails per day via Microsoft's email service. And in this video, I'll walk you through what's changing, what Outlook's new rules mean for senders, and the steps you need to take to stay compliant, protect your domain, and keep your emails out of the spam folder. Hello and welcome to MailTrap videos where we explore the world of emails. Outlook, which covers popular domains like Hotmail.com, Live.com and Outlook.com, is stepping up its email security by introducing new requirements for high volume senders. These changes are designed to help fight spoofing, phishing, as well as spam and make sure only trusted, authenticated emails reach users' inboxes. Here's what's becoming mandatory under the new sending policies. As the first measure, all domains sending over 5,000 emails per day will need to have SPF, DKIM and DMARC properly configured and passing. This means all three authentication protocols will have to be in place in order to verify the sender's identity, safeguard the domain, and ensure emails are trusted by Outlook's filtering systems. Failure to meet these requirements will result in messages being delivered to the junk folder. And in cases of continued non-compliance, Outlook may begin rejecting emails entirely. In addition to the authentication requirements, Microsoft has also outlined several best practices designed to help senders maintain email quality, build trust, and protect their sender reputation. These recommendations include using a valid from or reply to address that accurately reflects the sending domain and is capable of receiving replies. Providing a clear and easily accessible unsubscribe option, particularly for marketing or bulk communications. Regularly maintaining and cleaning email lists by removing invalid, inactive or unengaged recipients and following transparent mailing practices, including using accurate subject lines, avoiding misleading headers, and ensuring recipients have provided consent to receive your emails. So how can you prepare for these upcoming changes? All senders, particularly those at high volume, should start by auditing their DNS records to ensure SPF, DKIM, and DMARC are properly configured and passing for all sending domains. This is the first and most crucial step in meeting Outlook's new authentication requirements. Along with that, it's important to review email headers and verify that authentication is working as expected. This will help catch and resolve any issues before they start affecting deliverability. As rejection of non-compliant emails is planned for a future phase, it's also advised to stay informed by following all new updates on rollout schedules and enforcement timelines through official Microsoft blog posts. And of course, on this channel, we'll also cover any related topics, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now, we understand that navigating these newly announced changes might feel overwhelming, but if you're using MailTrap for your email infrastructure, well, that's some good news. Thanks to MailTrap's adherence to the highest standards for DNS records and authentication protocols, your emails will continue to be delivered securely and reliably, with no extra work required on your end. On top of that, whether you're sending transactional or marketing campaigns, MailTrap will provide you with powerful analytics containing all the key reports and metrics you need, including spam rates, so you can effectively monitor and manage your email infrastructure. With that, we wrap up this video update on Outlook's new requirements for high volume senders. For more information on getting your emails inboxed, check out our email deliverability playlist. We'll see you there.